And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, some assembly required one. Description, just a link. Perfect. So as I click, I'm asked to enter a flag and submit it. So let's enter, please subscribe and submit it. Incorrect. So let's inspect the page. Let's expand everything so we can see what's going on. We can see there's a JavaScript file that's declared up here. That'll be of interest. Then we have our input, our button to submit it. So not a whole lot going on. So let's take a look at the sources. We can see we have the index.html we were just looking at. We have this JavaScript. And unfortunately, I can't pre-print this. I think this is an issue with Chromium. Chromium is the open source portion of the Chrome project. I've had pretty good success. So Chromium is what Kali uses by default. But if you're using Chrome, I've had pretty good success with pretty print actually working. So we're gonna download this JavaScript file and then we are gonna format the document in VS Code. And we'll start from the top. And this is very similar to what I'd seen earlier in another challenge that dealt with obfuscated JavaScript. We have an array at the top, which seems to hold a lot of important values, such as the correct string, the incorrect string, methods we're gonna call, maybe, maybe this is the flag, hard to tell. But it's obfuscated JavaScript where they've tried to make it as difficult as possible to read. We have a function that does a lookup based on an offset. So this would be an index into this array, and then we're subtracting this offset. So this is more obfuscation here where they're trying to make it difficult rather than you knowing, oh, I'm grabbing the second element from this array. You're grabbing something that's offset by 1d6, which is uh, a pretty large number. Let's see what 1d6 is. 1d6 is 470 in decimal. So something that's been offset quite a bit and is difficult to figure out. I'm going to breeze through the obfuscation just because I have another video that covers how to deal with obfuscation and where I really break down my, uh, my tactics for dealing with this. Instead, I'm just kind of looking at a high level at what's going on. And one thing immediately stands out to me, which is we're awaiting WebAssembly, which means we're fetching something from some address that's defined here based off of an array lookup. And since the challenge name is some assembly required, I think it's a good bet that assembly is what we want to look at. And if we look over here in our sources, we have a WASM file, which is WebAssembly. So let's open this guy up. And I want to just quickly tell you what WebAssembly is. WebAssembly, abbreviated WASM, is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine. It's designed to be portable, efficient, and fast. So there's an issue with JavaScript, which is JavaScript is available everywhere through the browser. People know how to program in it but it's not very efficient overall, certainly compared to C and other languages. So what they were looking for was a replacement to give highly efficient and portable code. So what you see here is very low level code here where we're dealing with things like setting a variable, getting a variable. It, it very much mirrors what you would see in say C assembly. And as we scroll down through, fortunately we don't have to figure any of this out Instead, we can just scroll to the bottom and we can see there's a Pico CTF flag defined. What's likely happening is they're doing a string compare of our input against this constant of Pico CTF, uh, curly, all that stuff. When I looked above, I saw a string compare somewhere in here. Here we go, export SDR CMP. Seems like string compare to me. So that's likely what's happening. Let's try submitting this and see if it succeeds. It says correct. So let's submit it. Perfect. So I suspect I'm gonna to have to learn some WebAssembly as we go forward since this is the first of several of the some required, some assembly required series. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all those nice YouTube things. Thanks very much. Bye.